demonstrate our use case uh, using AI in our day-to-day -day, uh, working life. So I will share my presentation. Hope everyone are able to see my presentation. Yes, yes. Yes. So before I uh, showcase my UK, uh, use case, I just want to uh, highlight few of the challenges in which we face generally while doing the accounting. First challenge is generally is the manual. In case of this digital era, the number of transactions has drastically increased. So for each transaction, we have to manually type all the amount as well as manually selection of each ledger for each transaction while doing the accounting. So for accountant, it become very tedious job in the current digital era. Second concern is common challenges while accounting is that mapping of payment to each bill so that each payment transaction is matched, mapped to the base document to ensure that the appropriate document audit documentation is there as well as is assist in the smooth on annual audit because various times what happen is that payment and receipts are there in the bank transaction but the while doing the accounting we are not able to trace where exactly is the bill is what exactly is the sales invoice is for respective receipts and payment so another challenge is the collection of data from the client geographically distributed and many of them have the virtual team so these are the few challenges which I want to highlight in the current today's uh, my presentation where I will showcase you how I use the AI to resolve all these challenges which we face in day-to-day -day accounting. So first uh, I will move, showcase, I will just uh, demonstrate how, so I will go here, I will just upload snapshot. So we'll just click on here, upload. So it will just predict. So in backend, the AI is predicting the data which I have uploaded. Based on this prediction, AI has given us key what all things as for the invoices, it has to be. So the party name, GST number, the PAN number, what is the GST amount, what should be the TDS. So the AI has read the invoices based on that invoices, it has given us exact what is the invoice date, what is the invoice number, what is the total amount, what is the nature of invoices. So based on this, in AI has read, now I want to post this particular transaction into tally. So I will say, say that I want to post the ledger into tally. So based on what information AI has fetched, AI itself will suggest, recommend a tally entry itself. I don't have to select any entry, debit nor credit all the debit and credit will be done by AI itself. So AI will select this account has to be debited by this amount. GST account has to be debited by this much amount. Party account has to be debited by this much amount. So by this, the tally entry is also posted here. So by this, I will click on the save. Once I click on save, so the entry is saved in the AI portal. I just need to go and sync this data here. So it just takes five few seconds to sync the data from the portal. Just allow a few seconds. Just take yeah, so data has synced. So I will just showcase you the entry which currently we have uploaded on the AI portal, it has came on this in the tally. So now if you can see, this was the entry which was uploaded on the portal. Portal has page all the ledgers, debit ledger, credit ledger, what should be the GST amount, which should be the GST, as well as all the log as well. When this particular entry was imported, what was the invoice number and invoice date. So by this, friends, hope you will be able to understand that AI has reduced tremendous time for an accountant while doing accounting in the tally. So this was the first use case where I want to demonstrate that without entering any entry, without selecting any transaction, AI has done our work. And due to this, it has reduced a lot of time for us. Second use case was for me was that key uh, with respect to the 
payment mapping of payment transaction to each bill and payment transaction so for that also i will go to here i will go in the money link transaction i will select particular transaction i will go so this is the particular bank transaction i have gone i went into bank transactions i have selected that particular bank entry which i want to map to that particular invoices which i have recently uploaded so i will go here i will see select a party name here knj and apply and i will also mention the date basically so date once i select the date here so you will get the invoice which we have uploaded here so once i select this particular invoice is going to map to this particular payment so whenever in future i want to know that what was the invoice against this particular payment means what was the payment this made for or in case of auditor want an invoice for this particular document they can anytime access this particular transaction from this and based on that only they will recommend us as well right now it is not showing because of some issue but it will show us a recommendation stating that what account has to be debited and what account has to be credited i will take another example let's say i will take example of sdfc so i will take this receipt example let's say so when i so this is a receipt entry particular into credited into bank account i want to do an entry for this receipt entry once i click on recommendation the ai portal itself suggests us that this account is credit to be credited and this account has to be debited i have not selected any account ai portal has only recommended us that this account has to be debited and this account has to be credited once i select i have to post as a button save button once i click here that entry will automatically once i click on the sync button again the same process i have to follow the entry will come into the tally so by this also ai has recommended us for the bank entry as well as for the expense entry as well as by way of documentation as well uh, so by this uh, i uh, i have covered my use case and over to you juri and umesh sir yeah. so your presentation and so that tool also just wanted to ask you one question yes, that sir. this entry automatically gets transferred to tally Uh -huh. so how is this uh, butech which you have made as uh, how does it synchronize with tally no, so i have not made sir, we, are, to we, are, we are using okay. basically i have not made it we, we are using this facility okay. available across means uh, country so we are using basically then, then, mean, then it means that you have to first configure yeah, butech yeah. accordingly no so we have taken a subscription for booktech and so that we are doing the accounting basically नहीं नहीं बट बुक टेक यू हैव टेकन अ सब्सक्रिप्शन यू हैव टू कंफिगर इट कि दिस एंट्री व्हिच यू आर पोस्टिंग हैज टू गो इनटू दिस कंपनी नो 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 सर नो इट रीड्स द इनवॉइसेस बेसिकली एंड बेस्ड ऑन द मशीन लर्निंग एंड एआई इट प्रेडिक्ट व्हाट एग्जैक्टली हैज टू बी डेबिट एंड क्रेडिट आई डोंट हैव टू लर्न मींस ओनली फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम व्हेन आई हैव टू अपलोड द इनवॉइसेस इट इट आई हैव टू सिलेक्ट दैट दिस अकाउंट हैज टू बी डेबिटेड एंड दिस अकाउंट हैज टू बी नहीं नहीं आई एम नॉट एस्किंग दैट सपोज टैली में देयर फोर कंपनीज व्हिच यू हैव ओपन Uh -huh. in which company will it take that data no no so i when i go on this desktop breach na sir i have to select in which company mm -hmm. i have to send the data so yes, i think yes, that that's what i was asking first you have to configure it accordingly yeah, yeah. okay thank you configuration is now available across all the uh, major bookkeeping and accounting software like zoho itself gives an a facility to upload the transaction and when you upload in the uh, it extracts the data and do, do the regular accounting also so what's no. unique actually in this if you can so basically a uh, unique is a uh, complete reading of the document i think the, it is not available in the zoho as of now with respect to linking and mapping of the transaction with respect to the bank transaction as well and as well as uh, importing into the tally so this specifically platform is we are using where the we are using the tally accounting for the clients no worry but i will i will request you just to explore other accounting in fact zoho also give a image uh, scanning facility just scan Correct. the invoice but that is not there for the client who want to use tally na so we'll have to be restrict with respect to some other application then some other so yeah okay, okay. But, uh, for for when we come to subscription and all it requires a cost uh, attached to that and at the same time you need to be very much uh, uh, familiar with the software to use it Right. for for a chartered accountant who is not so techy selecting the right tool will be a challenging task 